Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday, January 17th, and let's get into my focus list for today. So here is my pack of the sector sheets, and I'm looking at the daily charts here this morning. Heading into today, I have puts on XLY, the consumer discretionary sector, and it looks like we're set to open just a bit lower there, so that is good for me. I also bought some puts yesterday on XLI, the industrial sector. Some big time selling volume, pretty extended. No uh, pre-market action there, it seems. I have puts on XLE, and it looks like they are up half a percent pre-market. Now, it's about quarter nine right now. These can easily change, but this is kind of what we're looking at at the moment. So puts there, puts in industrials, puts in discretionary, and on the flip side, I bought calls on XLP. Been watching this for a while, guys. Got some nice volume yesterday and got a daily signal to go long. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to monitor these positions. Thankfully, it looks like a few of my puts may work in my favor here this morning, which could help offset some potential profit loss in energy. And I will also obviously be hoping that Staples can move forward as well and give me some profit. I will be watching Real estate had a very strong first half of the day yesterday, and as you can see, quickly faded. But you know, if we do roll over here in the market, there's some potential that money could go to real estate, some money could go to utilities and staples, as we saw. So that's about it, guys. One thing I did want to show you is that I'm you know doing a little bit of review of my charts last night. <clears throat> um. You know, I have left a lot of money on the table already this year simply because I haven't been sticking strictly to my follow the money strategy. My position sizes are usually about 2000 bucks each. And what I'm realizing is that I missed a lot of four to 500% returns. Just for example's sake, you know, just to keep me on point and motivate you guys, here's a few opportunities where I possibly could have turned 2000 into 10000 in the last few weeks. Facebook, let's just call that, yeah, call that two to ten thousand dollars. Possible five hundred percent return there. May not may not be you know exactly five hundred, but again, for the sake of conversation, could have made ten there. Could have made a big profit there. Should have had a massive profit there. So you know I'm seeing ten, twenty, thirty. Call it forty grand. You know, this entire move should have been caught. So, you know, I'm refocused, guys. I, I, I truly just want to hone in on what has worked for me time and time again. And at the end of the day, that is just good old sector analysis and following the money. So be mindful, guys. We are pretty extended here. Saw a little bit of weakness yesterday. What was interesting about yesterday is that despite the large gap up, we opened up 67.22 yesterday. Yeah, so we opened right here at the high in tech and quickly fell. So up about half a percent at the moment. It'll be interesting to see what happens here today. My predictions is that over the next few weeks, we take a turn to the downside. Now, I'm not saying we're going to see a crash, but I think some profit taking amongst various sectors is pretty appropriate at the time. And with earnings coming up, you could see a lot of firms taking profits beforehand. All right, guys, that's it. That's all I got. I'll be keeping my eye closely on these sheets as always, and I'll see you all in the group chat.